Catching up with head coach Anders Sorensen after a huge victory over the Texas Stars tonight in game two of a three game and three day weekend. Coach Sorensen, we were just kind of talking and then smiling a little bit off camera just a moment ago. Uh, those first seven minutes of the hockey game, I mean, you had goals coming every which direction. The Ice Dogs with the majority of them, but my goodness, you talk about getting off to a great start after a long night back from Des Moines last night, and I think you got your answers and what you were looking for in those opening moments. Yeah, I think that the guys did a really good job of you know, played with energy off the bat and did a lot of good things and obviously scored some goals. Uh, so that was that was very positive. Lucas Reichel chiming in, Brett Connolly chiming in, Mike Hardman with a couple of different goals. Power play very successful as well. If I had to look at any areas that you were looking to maybe clean up a little bit going into tomorrow's rematch, you gave up a lot of power plays and a lot of penalties to the Texas Stars. It kind of kept them hanging around a little bit. What's the focus going into a rematch tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing, right? We've got to make sure we're moving our feet more. We don't get caught in those situations. And, uh, you know, I think the PK was good. I know we let one in, but overall, I thought it was really good overall. So we just got to make sure that we're a little bit more dialed in with our feet and moving our feet a little bit more. Seven goals tonight, scored by six different players. You get three players with three-point games, DJ Buzdecker, Hardman, and Brett Connolly. Great performances all around. Ian Mitchell with a couple of assists and a few others. I mean, just points up and down the roster. When you look at a full team effort, is this something that you've expected of and you can use this as an example? Well, I mean, that's what that's what we were always hoping for, right? I think that uh, that line, like uh, Buzzy coming in and playing with Connolly and Hardman, that's where Slavin was last night. Buzzy did a really good job of, of playing there. He's normally a winger, too. So he's done a really good job. He's kind of one of those guys who's Swiss Army knife. if you put him wherever, and he just plays. And I thought it was good to get Lucas back, too, and I thought his start of his game was really good. He had some jump, made some plays, and, and uh, yeah, so I was happy. Pretty good razzle-dazzle for some stick handling moves, too. Just one blocker save away from pretty much going into the zone and dancing around the defense. A guy like that playing in the NHL last night with Chicago, you get Brett Connolly down, a nice three-game point streak since his return from Chicago. These are guys that just seem to elevate their game the second they touch the ice. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, offensively, they're, they're dynamic, right? And it helps to have them in the lineup, and especially when we, you know, lost some guys, even McLaughlin being out and, you know, stuff. And then, you know, but that's part of the game, and I'm happy for those guys. They played really well. Now you look ahead to the Texas Stars, the rematch tomorrow. You complete your three-game and three-day weekend as a coaching staff. How much do you have to keep an eye on ice time and, and managing the physicality of the games and, and, and just the wear and tear? Because as great as this victory is, I know in a rematch tomorrow and having to face another uphill battle in a Stars team that likes to play physical, it's a tough match. Yeah, that was a big thing, especially when we got up there. We're trying to manage guys' ice time for sure. And, and uh, you know, knowing that we have another one tomorrow, a quick turnaround too, right? Less than 24 hours. What's going to be the biggest key for you, knowing what you have in front of you with the Texas Stars and, and trying to close out what's not only just a three and three weekend, but this is the last time you're going to see him tomorrow as well. If you can win the head to head series in these season battles, it usually breeds success. What are you looking for from your club? Yeah, I think we've got to be a little bit better defensively. We gave up a little bit too much for most coaches liking, I think. I thought Delia was really good, uh, especially at spurts in those games where they pushed us. They're a good team off the rush, so we've got to make sure we're ready with numbers back. And uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing.